supplements I take. I have Hashimoto's disease, so I thought it would be good to start taking lots of different vitamins, like multivitamins, immune system support, vitamin D3, for example. My friend gave me this one, so I'm just drinking this one. And then I get biotin from my dermatologist, and this is from my hair, skin, and nails. I have rosacea, so she gave me biotin because it's supposed to help my skin get better. So, um, I take four packets of these every day, so two in the morning and two at night. This is how I like to drink the biotin, I just put it inside water. Um, the way that they told me to do it is literally just pour the powder in my mouth and then just like take a sip of water, but it feels like, I don't know, it's like that cinnamon challenge, remember? A bunch of years ago where you would put a spoon of cinnamon in your mouth it feels like that it's like super dry so it's hard to drink so I just put it like this in my water and I just drink it It's really hot so I'm wearing a t-shirt to go to the gym um, it's a little bit long so it hides my tattoos so I don't wear a sleeve I don't have any sleeves anyways I've used them up all week and I'm wearing shorts today and it also covers my butt because these are these are see-through I'm gonna put my contact lenses on now basically just run to the gym I'm not trying to look cute today and then I'll come back home and get ready to go to the hospital and to also go to work because I'll be taking you guys to work with me today also don't forget to wear sunscreen but this is like the best one because my skin is super sensitive so I recommend that one I don't recommend any of the BRAUV ones you can do research on that they're not that good I don't know why they're so hyped up I also recommend this sunscreen you can reapply it over your makeup but yeah let's go to the gym guys
Okay, so I just got home a little bit ago. Um, it's like 9 p.m., which is why it's so dark in here. Pretty tired. I'm just gonna have dinner, which is just my leftovers from yesterday. Some just chicken, rice, and kimchi again because I'm on a low carb, high protein, a low carb, low fat, high protein diet just in order to, you know, get those body goals. <laughs> I have been thinking maybe like in the future, maybe I'll enter a, one of those bodybuilding competitions, but don't quote me on it. I don't know. That's a lot of work. It looks and sounds like it's um, a lot of hard work when it comes to the dieting. It's a really strict dieting. So I don't know, but I'm thinking about that. So that's why I'm kind of like just trying this for now and see how I feel and see if I like the results. So maybe I'll like keep updating that here on YouTube if anyone is interested. And yeah, there's really nothing else to my day today. I'm just going to edit this video now and I'm gonna try to post as much as I can this summer. I'm just trying to cool off, it's so hot and I'm coming into the house, it's, well it's nighttime so it's not that bad as like coming home during the day when the house is in flames. So yeah, I actually almost forgot to talk about my hospital experience today. Um, I've been going to the hospital, that specific hospital for as long as I've been here in Japan, which has been about two and a half years. Um, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease before coming to Japan literally like right before coming to Japan um, so it's been about maybe three years because my time coming to Japan got delayed because of COVID so maybe about three years three and a half years I'm not sure yet and during this entire time I've been taking medication every day if you're not familiar with Hashimoto's disease I suggest that you google it it's complicated and it's different for everyone but yeah i have my own problems with it my own side effects and um, medication doesn't really change that for me and i don't think it does for a lot of people but three months ago the doctor told me that i might not have to take medication anymore so he was like i'll see you in three months and let's see what happens he lowered my dosage and i went today i ran out of my medication so that's my sign to go back to the hospital the doctor was going to lower my dosage again but that's because she didn't notice the other doctor's notes before she asked me she's like do you just want to stop the medication and see how things go for the next three months and i was like yeah i'll try it like why not i'm already like on a low dosage i don't know if that changes anything but i said yes so all i did was get my blood drawn which i still have like the bandages up they put so much tape they put so much tape i was there for a little bit because it does take time to like process your your results and stuff but once i got to see the doctor it was probably like a one minute conversation that was it pay which was quite expensive considering I didn't have to pay for any medications. So I was surprised at how expensive it was, but I can't complain considering where I come from. I'm from Puerto Rico, but America is the same thing um, considering how health insurance is back in the States. So can't, I always remember that. I, I can't complain. We'll see how I do for the next three months. I don't know how this is go if how this is going to affect me physically, mentally, or emotionally. I don't know what's going to happen, especially physically. So we'll see. And I'm gonna go back in three months, get my blood drawn again, and see what the results are. So it's kind of scary, but also. people have been cured of Hashimoto's disease they just get better well, I'm hoping it's the same for me I didn't I don't know if it's you know stopping medication if that you know you know stopping the medication and like my results being fine I don't know if that's what makes me cured but I don't know it's a lot in the air when it comes to this disease but yeah hoping for the best yeah I think that's it for today so if you made it all the way here <laughs> thank you I hope you stay and you keep watching the other videos 
and if you haven't seen the other videos you should and yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video bye